Hey, good morning, everybody. There seems to be a lot of bad information on the internet, imagine that, on face masks and CDC guidelines, things of that nature. So I wanna just shoot a really quick video on all the different options out there. If you look at the CDC guidelines, and my suggestion is you just Google CDC guidelines for face masks, and you're gonna pull up a cloth cover profile. They're gonna show you how to make them, and the whole idea is something like this, as I'm out in the environment touching things and I happen to scratch my face, I'm not transferring from there anywhere near my nose or my mouth or my eyes. Now you'll notice I'm wearing glasses here. If I'm wearing glasses and I go on a construction job site, you'll also see dictated that you have to have a face shield or splash protection. Again, the whole idea isn't that there's this particulate just floating in space throughout the day. It's that I come within a certain distance of someone and they sneeze or perhaps I'm a carrier and I'm talking and you know you've been by that person that talks and you say you know the old say it don't spray it kind of guy that's what we're trying to avoid so if someone sneezes near me and I'm wearing glasses I have an entry point so I have my over the specs right these are the old school style that barely fit over these but that gives me some sort of splash protection if someone sneezes I'm covered you know you've got the foam line safety glasses that are out there that give me a better protection piece Again, you need to follow company guidelines, uh, but the idea again is there's a splash in the area of some sort of sneeze. Is it gonna hit here? Where is it gonna hit and can I wash all this stuff and avoid having it in my face? You that are wearing these cloth masks out in the field, I breathe through my nose and my mouth. I don't know how you do it, but I see a lot of this at the grocery store where people are walking around. Uh, friends of mine saw a funny picture I will not share here, but uh, this is not how you wear a mask. I can still breathe through here. So if you sneeze in my area, I'm inhaling through my nostrils. It needs to be completely covered. Now, if you're driving down the road by yourself, no one around, you don't have to have this thing on. Now, I will put one of these on, hit job sites, leave it on until I get to the next job site, and then when I'm done, I'll pull it down, get it out of the way. Once I'm home, I can stretch this thing over the top, throw it in the washing machine, be done with it. If you choose to wear an N95, you need to keep in mind standard N95 and N95 with an exhalation valve. The exhalation valve on this is no different than the exhalation valve on a half mask, reusable style. In there's a little flap. That flap moves as I inhale. This flap moves as I exhale. If I'm wearing this mask and I sneeze, this flap will open and allow everything that I have in here out. So if the idea is for me to protect you and I sneeze in this mask, I'm not helping you. If I sneeze in this mask, I'm containing it. If I sneeze in this cloth, I'm containing it. I can then remove them, throw them away. If I have allergies and I'm constantly snotting and sneezing in this mask, I don't want to keep this thing for two, three weeks because I'm containing all the germs and residue inside that mask. I need to get rid of it. If you want to go medical grade, these are kind of nice but make sure you have fun with them too, right? I walk through the grocery stores, I can never tell who's in a good mood or not, so I, I try to carry, carry a smile everywhere. Again, press this nose piece, have it contained. <laughs> See how it puffs in and out? I have a good tight seal here to where I'm protecting you from any of the particulate that I might have in my system. If I sneeze in this mask, I'm going to clear the environment and I'm gonna get rid of this thing. I'm gonna get a new one, start completely over. So keep in mind, this protects you, this protects you, this protects you. These protect me, but they don't protect you. So my plea would be too, if you're in the medical field, get a medical grade mask. If you're the general public, don't buy these, don't use these. Please, for the love of God, leave these for the construction workers to do their jobs. These are designed for guys chipping and grinding concrete so we can continue to do work and build buildings they're not going to do you any good out there. Now, on the flip side of that, grandma is at high risk. I'm okay if grandma wants to wear this because it's saving her, right? This mask protects the person wearing it. This mask keeps me protecting you, all right? We all clear on that? And cover the whole face, not just part of it. Have a great day, and remember, the biggest thing, please wash your hands. Have a great weekend.